So, this is a story of how to make yourself a left-handed electric 12-string guitar in one day. You have to, first of all, buy the right-handed guitar from Top Man. And once you have the right-handed guitar, then you can change it into a left-handed guitar. So, I did this today, and now, at the end of the day, I have a left-handed guitar. And it's worked out very well. And um, I did not have to change the nut, and I had to do very little except the intonation is not quite right at the moment. I have to uh, have a work at that tomorrow, maybe. But um, it was perfect, the intonation was perfect when it arrived, so it's just a matter of me um, fine tuning that a little bit. This works very well. I also converted it to stereo wiring at the same time, which is what the Rickenbackers normally have. And the stereo wiring means that you have one pickup on one channel, the other pickup on the other channel, and you can drive your two separate effects loops or two separate amplifiers simultaneously. And so there's a lot more control you can have over the kind of sound you get. Okay, so straight into the video and let's find out how we did it. You know, once upon a time people said that East German stuff was no good. And the reason they said this was because they didn't want you to buy it. And if you ever look at this motorbike, this is standing outside the post office when I went to pick up the guitar. This motorbike's been going for years and years and years. This is an East German motorbike. It's an absolutely wonderful machine. And, you know, all the other countries' machines are all kaput. Now the East German one's still going. So there you go. And it's going to be the same with these Chinese guitars, believe me, because they're very, very, very well made. Right, to start with, we need to lay down the guitar somewhere where we can work on it and put something soft underneath it, otherwise it might get damaged. Make sure everything's not uh, banging against the wood or anything like that. And then you need to take everything off that's, um, you know, that's on the guitar, that's bolted on. And, yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to put a stereo jack into this thing and we're going to wire each pickup up directly to the stereo jack. And so we need to do a little bit of a diagram and I don't know if you can make out anything from the picture on the screen but yeah, just make sure you know where the wires are. Draw a diagram of it before you start. I've got a couple of Harley Benton guitars already which I've converted, both of them have converted to stereo wiring and I like it so much that all my guitars I'm converting to stereo wiring so they just plug a stereo cable into the guitar and into my pedal board and away you go, you've got full control from the guitar to the pedal board. You can also hear it in stereo through the headphones and all you need to buy is one of these stereo jacks from Tom Mann. To take the insulation off the wires, you should use a knife, not the cut cutters. The wire cutters are cutting right through the wires. Only use them for that. You need a piece of stereo cable about a foot long. Now, I was lucky I had a bit left over from another project. Bear both ends of the wire with the knife. You need to twist the earth wire all together, separate it from any um, cotton that's in there. Cut the cotton off and you should be left with two wires sticking out and one of these wires you need to make shorter than the other to fit on the plug properly. You'll see that. If you cut a little bit off one of the wires you'll be right. And then bear the ends of the wires and then you need to tin them with your soldering iron and put a bit of solder on them so that they're all nice and ready to solder onto the, onto the plug. If you're doing a 12 string like this, you should really have done a few normal guitars before this, so you should already know how to solder. You'll see that the soldering iron I've got is quite a nice um, unit, and this is the type of unit that you need to use. And be careful, you don't put too much heat anywhere, you know, just like just a little bit of heat and quickly get away from it. 
Carefully offer the wires up to the plug and bend the ends of the soldered wires through the little holes in the plug and make sure everything that lines up nicely ready to solder it. And then just solder the thing together very, very carefully and don't put too much heat to it, just to gently does it, yeah? And quickly does it. You can see the one I did, uh, the cable sticking out of the part that you're supposed to clamp together. And so just leave it like that. You know, there's no pressure on the thing. I'm just going to tape it up nicely anyway. And so just leave it like that. It's best like that. Otherwise you start messing around with it and break something. Tape it up. Don't put too much tape on. Otherwise it won't get it through the hole properly. And then tape the other end up as well. And then you're all ready to go. So they and Yumi made object onto the guitar and just offer it up to the job. You can see what we're going to do. We're going to be cutting a hole for the new plug in the right side of the guitar and then bringing this wire up through the pickup cavity into the main wiring place, joining it up there. You can see our route and this is where you get to be a man, a real man, and make a big hole in your brand new 12 string guitar have fun you need a drill like this exactly like this don't use anything else it's got to be this exact size 10 millimeter and this type of drill you can see i got going here but then i stopped because it was going very very slowly and you need to put quite a lot of pressure on the drill to get the thing through it's very very hard stuff it's mahogany it's very very good quality material that they use here be careful when the drill breaks through the back, just take it easy there. And when you finish, you get your vacuum cleaner and, and suck it all out, clean up and tidy up. Because if you don't clean up, you're going to make mistakes. Everything is going to go kaput on you. Yeah. So tidy up. Now the drill of 10 millimeters is not quite big enough, but you're going to have to enlarge in the hole a little bit, but only a little bit. You know how to do that by now, I'm sure. And just make sure that you don't go too big because you're going to have to screw this thing into the wood. It, it mustn't be loose. It must be a good screw fit into the wood. Otherwise, it's going to fall out. And there's no way that you're going to get those um, metal nuts onto this thing inside there. Your fingers, unless you get some baby to do it. But I couldn't. There was no way I could see that you could actually get the metal parts on. So just screw it in tightly by hand and... I had to finish mine off with the pliers, which was good because it went in really, really tight and it's a good fit and it's not going to fall out and doesn't need any metal bits to hold it on. It's perfect as it is. If you need to use the pliers, make sure you put some cloth over it, otherwise you'll make a hell of a mess of the metal. And um, yeah, if it's too tight, it's not going in with the fingers. Just give it a bit more with the drill, you know. Just just ream it out a little bit with the drill, but don't go too far. Keep trying it, offer it, try it, until it, it fits in the right way, like this one did. And then, yay, it's done. I did this one-handed while I was filming it. It was a bit of an extra challenge for me. And it went through okay. And then when I got to the wire to the other side and tried to get it through the hole, it was just too tight to go through the hole on the other side and probably a little bit short. And so what I decided to do was I decided to bring some wires from the other direction and let them all meet in the middle uh, underneath the pickup and this worked out okay in the end here we cut the wiring off for the mono it'll never be mono again ever the blue wires the earth and the yellow wires from the switch so whatever pickup we leave on the switch is going to come down that yellow wire. So
So everything's going good. It's just a matter of taking a lead from the output, it's actually from the center of the volume control, this was the output from each, from each um, pickup. One of them through the switch and to the one stereo channel and the other one just direct, not going to the switch, direct through the other stereo channel. So that one's always on unless you roll the volume back. And normally I just have them both switched on all the time and just use the volume control to mix uh, however much I want in each one of them. There's no real need for a switch. You may as well leave it in there, I thought. So about this time it's time to clean up and have a cup of coffee, maybe a bite to eat, before we do the next difficult bit. Mm -hmm. 